right, Heste, Desiree Hedjofkados. I just wanted to um, go over a few things this morning. Um, next week, we are going to um, find out how we can do, uh, I am not doing something. I am not cooking, I am not running, I am not sitting. So um, that we'll start that next week. And we're, we'll go in the first, second, and third person like we did on um, what we were doing now in the present. Um, so we will continue on to what we were um, learning last time. Let's see. If you see somebody walking around, we've got a <laughs> we've got a photographer PR, in yeah. your PR. So, so don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. Hopefully, I've worked out the bugs for our hallelujah song. We have it's been a while since we um, were able to sing. So let's go ahead and, and try the hallelujah song. Let me know if you can if you cannot hear it. Everything was working good a few minutes ago. So let me go ahead. Not, must not be hooked up. <laughs> All right. It was working a few minutes ago. I attached and reattached everything. Can you guys hear it? Mahaya, we could hear it. Oh, you can hear it. Okay. So let me go ahead and start that. Um, all right. All right. You can hear it. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and start that and I will try to sing along in my head because I can't, for some reason, I can't hear it and I don't know what's going on. Okay. You can hear and see it. All right. Mado. So let me go ahead and start our song. Um, the blue is the, uh, are the Muskogee words. The red is the phonetic breakdown for those of you who are, um, are new to our um, class. And underneath in black is the um, uh, English translation of, of what we're singing, because I always like to know what I'm singing or saying when I'm learning something. Um, it, it's just, um, I want to know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. All right. So let me go ahead and start this and I will sing it in my head and you guys sing with um, with the song. Um, you can mute your, your um, volume or, you know, um, but if it ends and I'm still sitting here, just uh, just hit me up and chat. Let me know it's over. Like I said, for some reason, I can't hear it. I'm glad you guys can hear it. So let's go ahead and start this. So I wanted to incorporate that again because that uplifts our spirit and gets our mind and our mouth ready for Muskogee and speaking Muskogee. We've got a lot of things going on here in uh, the Muskogee language department. Sometimes we we rush to try to get things on the board, some things new for you guys, um, so we can go forward in, in learning. But oh my goodness, it's been so busy this week. So what I'm sharing with you right here is uh, our... Um, Okay, there you can. Our um, phone number for the Muskogee Language Department. And you see that it's got the uh, muskogeenation.com. That's um, the website. We are now working on, and it should be in effect 
this week, possibly next week, or within the next couple of weeks, uh, the Muscogee Language uh, website. Can you add the Google Drive link? Okay. All right. Yes, I will. Um, so we are working on the Muscogee Language website. It's almost ready to be um, published live. There's just a little, a uh, couple little things that need to be adjusted before we can publish live. And it should have uh, the Google uh, Drive for all the Mahayas, Inga, for all the Mahayas and even previous Mahayas, if you want to go back and refer back to some of the previous lessons, it should have uh, Facebook, Instagram, and um, these are our um, social media. You've got the YouTube page right there, and that is, uh, that, that's where our currently, all right, Mado, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be all in one place. So it's got, you see our YouTube, um, our um, name for the YouTube, TikTok, I, I'm not familiar with TikTok. That's kind of not my generation. Um, I guess Boscova used to do the TikTok. So we're kind of in between on that one. Um, nobody's actually been in there. So that you might find some older things in there that may help you. The Creek Okanaga, that's our Facebook. Um, we have videos that a lot of the Mahayas have created for different words for, um, for fe February, they had heart. Uh, I love you. And they have different things that they put out there. I wanted to share with you guys, uh, some of you guys are new, uh, some of the opportunities to hear our language. And Facebook, they've got a lot of different videos. They've got some stories. The Alpamboji, they've got wild onions. Um, I think they have a wild onion video on there as well. And then Muskogee Opanaga is um, our Instagram. So I do the words of the day on Instagram. Um, I've been tasked to do that. Right now we're finishing up in April. Like I said, we've got a lot of things going on, but we're trying to do it. I'm trying to get ahead of the game so we can we can release them um, before or on the date. Um, we are working, doing so many different things, wearing different hats. But uh, like I said, the Muskogee word of the day, and if we have time, I will show you what I did for March what my take on word of the day was to to almost like it make it feel like it's a a, a puzzle why are we learning all these words and you know fyi be nice on your comments you know these instagram or words of the day were uh, a suggestion from one of our some of our citizens so if you have a suggestion for instagram word of the day a story or even a cluster of words then just you know feel free to give us a call and put in your suggestion all of the words of the day have come from suggestions um, so if you don't like something just wait a few, you know, a few days or, you know, a few weeks and it'll change just like uh, Oklahoma weather. <laughs> okay. So the, um, the idea behind the Instagram um, word of the day when I was tasked to do it is like I said, to make it feel like it's, it's a puzzle. Like you're looking for clues. Why am I learning this? Um, why is this particular word being uh, addressed in our Instagram? So for the month of March, I found the, um, there are several different stories for the uh, uh, tobacco story. And um, I found one, and that was the words of the day for March, where uh, the tobacco story. And at the end of March, the final story was revealed, and it was the tobacco story. So everything that was taken taking in the month of March for word of the day fit into the story. So that was uh, pretty interesting. I, I really enjoyed that. So if you guys, um, you know, don't have an Instagram or Facebook or even get on YouTube, there are other resources out there for you guys to learn. Um, so like I said, if I can, if we have enough time, I will go over some of those. For April, um, let's see, the first part of April was a hymn, just like the hymn we sung. People have asked for hymn uh, words so they can understand what they're singing when they sing. Um, so that's what the first part of April was the uh, words from a hymn. And um, I think it only had 12 or 13 words. So the end of the uh, those words 
the uh, hem was being was um, was shared. So you can see where all of the words and all of the sounds came from for word of the day for April. Right now, I am starting on and I'm finishing up Pufko Afki, which is great dumplings. So I put that recipe out there and it, it's already posted on our Instagram. So these are the words that we're going to be learning for the rest of April. Like I said, I'm almost finished with them. It's a lot of coordination because I have, I, you know, create the video and then I have to go find a speaker and there's all over the place with all of the schools that they teach at and all the places. So sometimes trying to find a speaker so they can speak the words is, is uh, taxing because I have to catch them when they're in the office. So that's, that's one of the holdup is, We've got so many different layers of things that we do, and we're trying to make it all easier and better for you guys. Like I said, if you guys have any any ideas or anything, feel free to give us a call and or email or you know, just let us know what you're interested in learning. I I know spring is a lot of bogaties, little flowers, but I wanted to do something different so we can learn a little bit about the culture as well as learning the. Um, the words and the, of the Muskogee language um, in a story, in a hymn, or something else. So like, like this, like I said, the last one here is a recipe. So Fatko Aki, just something a little different to keep us interested and excited about our language. All right, I'm glad we got to sing our song. Mado, for those of you who, who let me hear the song when you guys were singing, that kept me on track. All right, so I was, we were talking about our new words um, and um, let's see, our infinitive verbs. So I just took three of our, our infinitive verbs and I showed them, I'm gonna show them how it breaks down. I know I did a little bit last time, but I did it more in depth this time. All right, so walk it up to lie down, walk it up. And, and this is going step by step. And like I said, I show you guys these same steps in different formats. So maybe one of them will, will um, get you excited and you're like, okay, I understand. I understand how this works now. And, and when you're learning something uh, for the very first time or you know, you're new to something, repetition. Repetition is what helps you remember. All right, walk it up to lie down. The first step is you drop the ETV to create the verb stem. And there's your verb stem right here. Walk. And then you lengthen the final vowel, walk, uh, the A, and walk it up. And then right here, we're still talking about first person. You put the I because we're talking about I. Add the person marker. Right here, you add the declarative ending, which is S. We don't put two vowels together. That would create a diphthong. So we just added the S instead of ES. So here you go, you've got your verb stem, you've got your person marker, I, you got your declarative ending, is S or ES? Walkus, walkus, walkus. Go that, I is an A sound, walkus. So it's we, ah, ki, ki, A, C, walkus, walkus. So just keep, you know, Practicing spelling with your sounds, with your Muskogee alphabet, with your sounds. Wakis. And the ah is the A sound, ah, wakis. All right. Does anybody have any question on that? Okay, let's go to Likida. Like I said, this is repetition. With all of the, um, the rules that we have in the Google Drive, um, just Go step by step and it'll start making sense. And um, I notice when I'm starting to conjugate, I have done this a few times to where it's starting to come naturally. And that's what we were trying to get for you guys to learn is for everything to come naturally. But in the beginning, you've got to take these steps to get to where you're trying to go. All right, Mado. Litkida, litkida, to run. You drop the ETV, you create the verb stem. There's your verb stem. And if I have a couple of uh, misspellings in here, I was trying to hurry up and get this done for you guys and put it on the Google Drive. So um, let me know if I'm accidentally uh, spelled something wrong and then I'll fix it. 
right. And the, the E is the final vowel. So you lengthen the final vowel. So it goes lit, litka. So that's the E makes a long E sound now. Lit, E, lit, litka. Lit. And you add the I, A. So it's the A sound, but it is the I, the person marker. The next step is you add your declarative ending, which is S, which is am, are, and is. So lead case, lead case. Verb stem right there in red. Person marker I, because we're talking about I. Declarative ending is S or ES. Will you put the S up there? Lead case, I am running. So right up here, your infinitive, lit get up to run. And you were able to conjugate the entire thing to leave guess. I am running. So I like the fact that I know what I'm talking about and I know what each part of this little word means. Um, to me, that's exciting. All right, let's see. And das get up. Like I said, we're going to go step by step. And these are repeats of the infinitive verbs that we went over um, in module one, but we've got new infinitive verbs. That's why I'm going over these. Daskira, to jump. Daskira. You drop the ETV, get your verb stem. You lengthen the final vowel, which is an A. Daskira, ah, ah. You add your declarative ending I. You add the S, which is am, are, is, and it also means the period at the end of the sentence. So here you go, your verb stem. Das. You got that. I, person marker. Uh, oh, A is the A sound. And you got your S, declarative ending S. Das kiss. Das kiss. So you went from to jump, das get up, das case, right here, das case. I am jumping. Like I said, this gets exciting because now I know. For, you know, and you know for yourself what each part of this means, instead of having to ask, hey, can you translate this? What does this mean? You know, you know what these things are. You now know what these things are meaning. So let's go with second person for Litkida. Okay. Second person. So we already did the first person. I am doing something. Now we're going to you are doing something. All right, litkida, to run. You drop the ETV, you get the verb stem. You lengthen the final vowel, and you put a long mark over the E, so that changes it to litkida, or lit, lit. You add your person marker, which the second person is you, so it's. You add an ES, because right there, it's not two vowels. The K is a consonant, so you put the ES. So you've got here your verb stand, leap. You got your person marker, it's, and you got es. So you put it together, ligitskis, 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 you are sitting. So now you know what all of these things mean. You know the verb stand, you know the person marker, and you know the declarative ending. Like I said, step by step, we're going step by step. So let's go Tasketa, second person. Um, I'm only doing three right now. Yeah, that's a hard one, I know, I know. Your mouth kind of gets a little jumbled up and it's almost like a tongue twister at times because our mouths are not used to um, saying some of the Muskogee words and the sounds. So I know I have to practice as well. Because I'm sitting there, it's, it's, and then sometimes I have to break it down. You'll see me and I'm sure you've already, Seeing that I've had to break it down, I'm stop and I have to look at it. Just like um, this morning, I was talking with somebody and they were saying it's hot today. And they said, uh, hot, hot, hey, it was a high, high, and I was like, so for the word hot, it's H I Y E, and the I has the A sound. So I was like, wait, that sounds a little, and then she stopped and she realized what she did is hey, ye, hey. Ye. But it has the I, so our mind automatically went to English, hi, but the correct way for Muskogee's, hey, 
It's the I is the A sound, hey. So, you know, we all stand there, we uh, correct ourselves and we're like, wait, that doesn't sound right. But, you know, it takes time, it takes step by step to get back into thinking Muskogee. And as long as you, you know, can redirect yourself back, hey, that doesn't sound right. That's what we're trying to get you guys to understand is, you know, we even uh, some of the first speakers, they have to pronounce something sometimes one or two times to get back on track. So it's not just you guys. It's not just us learning. Sometimes because we're inundated with all of English, your mind just kind of automatically flips back to English. So just jump back on track and that's no problem. We all do that. Das get up to jump. Das is the verb stem. You drop the ETV to get the verb stem. You add, A is the final vowel, so you add the long mark over it. The next step is you add the person marker, which is it, because we're talking about you. Das, it. And then you add the ES, add the declarative marker. Da, das, it, is. Remember the I at the E has the eh, eh, is. Das gets kiss. Das gets kiss. Verb stem, you know what that means. It's, you know where you comes in, right? It's, and then ES, declarative ending, it was am, are, and is. Das gets kiss. Das gets kiss. You are jumping. All right. I know this is a, it's a tongue twister at times, but you know, just hang in there, keep, keep trying. All right. And then walk it up. Walk it up to step, oh, walk, to lie down, I'm sorry. <laughs> walk it up to lie down. You drop the ETV, you get your verb stem, walk. You, A is the final vowel, you add the long mark over it. Right here, add the person marker, it's, because we're talking about you again. Walk it, skiss. And then you add the ES, the declarative ending, which means am, are, is, and period. Walk it, skiss. Walk it, skiss. That one was a little easier. That flows a little bit easier. But like I said, when you start speaking our language, it'll come easier. You see right here your verb stem? You see where the person marker is, and you see the declarative ending am, are, is, and the period. Wagitskis, Wagitskis. You are lying down. All right. So that's exciting to me is knowing what I'm saying and not having to rely on somebody else to interpret because I don't know if you if you've uh, can you okay. All right. Let's see. I'll put, try to put the Google Drive back up here. But um, when you talk to some of the, some of these native people, they've got a good sense of humor. And for those of you who understand what I'm talking about, they'll pull your leg. <laughs> they are jokers and kidsters. And so you'll ask a simple question and then they'll just say something. And then you're like, wait, that sounds like it's a little off. And then they start chuckling. So they know that. You know, you think they're, um, you, they think, you know, you think they're telling the truth, but sometimes they put a, almost like a, a, you know, trickster. But that's just a lot of the native humor is um, goofing around, joking around and laughing. Uh, some of these, even, even this morning, I had one of the speakers, I was asking, you know, can you help me with this? And, um, you know, I want to make sure that I'm saying it right. And they said something and I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, doesn't sound right. And then they started laughing. So I knew that they were just pulling my leg. But it's just, um, that's just native humor. So I like to know what I'm saying or what's being said, because sometimes if you get some of these goofballs here, and I, I consider myself a goofball, because I will do it as well to my kids. Um, they will say something and um, Inga, I put the Google Drive up there. I'll say something and, and just see how far I can lead them. Um, and then I'll just kind of chuckle so they know that I'm I'm just pulling their leg at that time. All right, so let's go ahead and, okay, let's go to third person. All right, third person, Litka. 
to run. You drop the ETB, we create the verb stem. You got L E T K, the verb stem. You lengthen the final vowel and you put a long mark over it. So it's leak. And then you've got add the person marker. Remember that those close and open parentheses are just my place marker. So I don't skip a step. And uh, it says add person marker, but there is no person marker for third person. All right. You add your declarative ending since K is the uh, the last, um, it, it's not a vowel, it's a consonant, we add the ES. So right here, you got your verb stem, leap. So you see that the E now sounds like E instead of E, leap, leap. And then there's no person marker and then ES, leap, kiss. Remember the I, the E has the E sound, leap, kiss, leap, kiss. Leadkiss, she, he, it, they are sitting. I forgot in my notes, and I just, I just refreshed myself and relooked at my notes. But when I was learning this, when we were learning third person in college, we would put she, he, it, or they. So you know that it's covering all of them, not just one. Leadkiss, she, he, it, they are sitting. All right. So when writing, would you put the parentheses in the word so others know there is no third person? No, no, you wouldn't. That's only for you to learn um, because, like I said, we are trying to do this step by step. And in order for me, when I was learning at the very beginning, to not skip a step, that was my placeholder. So you wouldn't put that in there because, you know, if you put something like that in there and a speaker or somebody who uh, who is further along in their language journey, they'd be like, what, what is that? <laughs> so right here at the bottom, that is the final word. And you see that in the final word, when I put it down there, I never have a placeholder because we've already gone through our steps. We've already seen that right here, L-E-T-K, close and open, I mean, close, open and close parentheses and E-S. So this is the final word right here, and this is the final look of it. And like I said, that was just a placeholder for me, so I knew I didn't skip something. But you see at the bottom, this is the final um, word and sentence, so that's what you would end up with. There's no placeholder when you're trying to present or talk to somebody else. It's just for your own notes. So Liebkes, she, he, it, they are sitting. Liebkes. And you see that E has that long E sound, leap kiss. All right. And let's go. So is, is everybody catching on? Like I said, I, I keep repeating, I keep repeating. So we don't leave anybody behind. And, um, you know, if you, you have it from last class, it'll refresh you. And then we will go for, further and go forward and start doing the, I am not doing something next week. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew how to conjugate before we went to the next step. That's why we uh, spent two weeks and last module doing um, conjugating as well. All right, that's get a, to jump. Drop the ETB, you get your verb stem. You add a long mark over the A and because that's the final vowel in das get a. You add your person marker, which is no person marker. So like I said, that is just my notes for myself to keep myself straight when I was doing that. <laughs> Dad said, don't teach me those. <laughs> I know some of the um, first speakers or people who grew up in the language, they get confused by this method, um, but they have had so many years of absorbing and hearing and being around the language, which um, nobody sat them down and said, this is the way to do this. They just learn through absorption and, and uh, hearing it and, and living the language. So those of us who haven't did that, you know, grow up, grew up like that, this is a way for us to kind of try to catch up because, you know, if you started your language journey like I did in my late 40s, early 50s, you've got all of that information on English in your head already. So having to switch it, you know, we kind of need some little, uh, some little um, steps on how to do it. So this is what helped me to learn how to um, write, to conjugate uh, our native uh, language or Muscogee language. So I'm trying to help you guys with these little um, 
cheats that I have. Like I said, it's not really a cheat. You know, I put the close and open parentheses so you won't skip a step. And you know, when you when we get further along, that that steps there, but third person doesn't have that one. Okay, so you got that. You add the es. You add the declarative ending. So das kiss das kiss. Verb stem, no person marker, add the S or ES, Doskis, Doskis. Remember that the second, well, the E has an A sound, Doskis. He, she, he, it, they are jumping. All right, Doskis. And that's one of the things that um, when I um, met people in person, they would ask me to try to, you know, say it so they could repeat after me. So if I say something and and uh, you need me to repeat it, then just um, unmute yourself and ask, or you could also just put it in the Google, I mean, in, in the chat. All right, so we've got Toskita, let's go walk it up. Third person, like I said, I've only done three because I wanna cover some more things in here, but I wanna refresh and let you guys see what the new um, infinitive verbs look like conjugated. Walk it up, to lay down, to lie down. You drop the ETV, you've got your verb stem. You lengthen the final vowel. You add your person marker, which is no marker. That's just my placeholder. Right here, you add your ES because K is the last um, letter in, in the word, in the sentence. So here you got your verb stem. Your placeholder is uh, just to open and close parenthesis. And then ES, walkus, walkus, walkus. He, she, it. They are lying down. So you went from to lie down to he, she, it, they are lying down. All right. Anybody have any questions before I go further? Anybody have any comments? Is that helping? Just to break it down with a different color coding. I know I'm a color coding person and I, I love color coding. My daughter also uses her, she's in college now. And she uses her different color pens to get things in a way that she can remember them. All right, Mado, it helps, Mado. Okay. So we went and um, we were able to conjugate first, second, and third person. Here are our um, infinitive verbs that we have. Ooh, Wakita. Wakita should have a V at the end, not a B. <laughs> All right. So this is what we have, litkira, litkira, to run, nojira, to sleep, yikabira, to walk, wakira, to lie down, okopanira, to play, opanira, to dance, daskira, to jump. All right, so we, con we can conjugate this, even if there's some, uh, of these infinite verbs that I didn't conjugate, I would I would ask you guys to try to conjugate it and see how easy or how, if I need to add a step or if I need to uh, um, help you guys along. But I think pretty much the uh, the rules and the steps are um, cover everything. But if if they don't, just let me know. I would um, um, challenge you guys to sit there and try to conjugate all of these or at least a few of them that I have not conjugated and see if it makes it easier. See if you still understand what's going on. All right, so these are our sentences that um, are subject verb. So here, chogahija litkis, the student is running. So now we're able to take our conjugated um, sentence portion and place uh, a subject in front of it, the student. Go the student is running. We are making easy sentences from the conjugated verbs that we made. So I think that's pretty good. I, I'm excited. All right. The judge is sitting. Daskis, the fireman is jumping. So you see that the ones that we're using right now for Liebkis, Legis, Daskis, 
Those are third person because somebody is doing something. Um, he is doing something. She is doing something. It is doing something. They are doing something. But right now, we're adding the fireman. Right here, we're adding the judge. And up at the top, we're adding the student. So you can just, you know, almost like a puzzle piece. You can put things together and... So go from conjugating in our word, our vocabulary, we're making simple sentences. And to me, that's exciting because um, it's, it's several steps and a journey to get to this point. All right, Mahaya Opanis, Mahaya Opanis, O-P-A-M-E-C, Opanis, Mahaya Opanis, the teacher is dancing. So we were, this week we had to go to some of the local um, uh, elementary schools and, and um, they were, they have been taught in the Skokie. So we were doing a little test with them. So it was exciting to see these little kids learning Muskogee and speaking Muskogee. Um, and so when we were asking them questions, some of them were really, really on the ball. I was, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I think it was uh, kindergarten, no, I, we didn't do kindergarten, first through fourth grade, and they were awesome, they were awesome. All right, Chokova Atotka, Yukabis, Yukabis. And you see that the A right there in Yukabis is, you know, um, is an A instead of a V. That happens when you conjugate through the steps that I showed you. You remember the uh, the part where it says the V changes to an A? That's an example of, of um, one of the steps where the V changes to an A. The farmer is walking. So I challenge you guys to try that and see how it changes. It's exciting, like I said. When the first speaker's thinking language would be walking, the teacher is. Yes, it would be, um, it would be like walking, the teacher is. Um, I've taught, Module one, and um, I was telling them that my husband likes to watch Star Wars, and um, we were talking about Yoda, and when I was teaching before, I used to tell everybody that Yoda was, Yoda was Muskogee, people just didn't know it, he's an elder, elder Muskogee, so he speaks in the Muskogee uh, uh, fashion. <laughs> so I've got a picture of Yoda on my wall over there, and I showed it uh, last the last module, Yoda sitting over there. But uh, yeah, I always called it a Muskogee or Yoda speech because the same format he uses is, is the way that Muskogee is. So we always laugh around. And if you've ever been to um, a native market and you have some of these artists that, uh, you know, um, make some of these new images, you always, you, a lot of times you see Mus, um, Muskogee Yoda, he'll have uh, native regalia on, sometimes he has some earrings on or beaded work. Mine has two ball sticks standing there. So it's, it's exciting. I think we, uh, as, as uh, native people embraced Yoda. <laughs> All right, subject verb here. Um, like I said, this is, these are subject verb sentences. You can add, like here, Alan Liefkes. Liefkes. Alan is running. Tom, Legis. Tom is sitting. Madison, Daskis. Madison is jumping. Troy, Obanis. Troy is dancing. Maggie, Yukabis. 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 It's the awesome. Yukabis. Maggie is walking. So some of these things you can now incorporate into your daily life. Um, and your daily um, language, you know, just teaching your kids or thinking while you're doing something, I am running, I am sitting, and you can conjugate it or, you know, even use it in the third person, Desiree is running, Desiree is sitting, you know, just to help you remember and to help to keep your mind in the Muskogee way of thinking. You can use your name, you can use your kid's name, your cat's name. Uh, like I said, I just play little games with myself, trying to keep myself in the Muskogee mindset and the Muskogee thought to try to um, break through the um, English barrier to where I'm not only thinking in English, I'm thinking also in Muskogee. When I took French, I got to a point where I could dream in French. I could think in French. And it was weird because I would think of things in French first, and then I would have to conjugate it to English. 
because we were doing like an immersion among three of us and we were trying to speak up nothing but French. And we got to that point. I'm trying to do that with Muskogee. It's almost there, but not quite. I am thinking more Muskogee, but sometimes the words, I haven't learned them yet. But like I said, I'm thinking more Muskogee and um, that switch is there. It's just, I need the expanded vocabulary. If you don't, if you don't know the words, you can't think them or dream them, all right? All right, so that's what I've got for you today. Let's go ahead and see, um, see if I can find these. I did have the words, module two, I think it's module two, words of the day. I told you guys that I would show you the words of the day um, that were for March. So, there we go. All right. So this all goes along with um, the uh, tobacco story. So keep that in mind when you're you're learning these. And I think it's really good, good to learn something new every day. And a story, for some reason, for me, it helps to keep the image and these words in my mind. Because I'm like, oh, that story had these words in it. Oh, Amy Madeau, I love those so much. We're, like I said, we, we're running here and there. We're doing a million things. So sometimes we get a little behind on our words of the day. But I had to go back and I had to put the dates on some of these because in the beginning, we didn't know what we wanted. And later on, after I had already done, I think, a, a week or two, they're like, oh, we need to put the word and the date on there. So I had to go back and put the date on there. And now for April, I'm, I'm putting the Muskogee word, but I'm putting it in the syllables. So those of us who need help breaking it down to sound it out, that is also there along with the English word. But these are the very first ones that we did, so it doesn't have it, but April's does, all right? So let me go ahead and share with you some of these. That's such a G, March. Can you guys hear that? Because I couldn't hear it. <laughs> All right, Mado. All right. Is the Hunan wa? Saturday. It was funny for Saturday. I didn't know what to put for courting dating. You know, what do you put for courting dating? You know, because there's so many variables now. I just put two uh, two pigeons. I thought that worked out pretty cool because I'm like, okay, courting dating. And, and I found the perfect picture to do that. Okay. And it's funny, sometimes when uh, these words come up in a sentence or in conversation, you know, like hokti. I can hear her her voice in my head, hokti. So I know how it's supposed to sound. Gaida. Egana. Ah, Lego she. Chutki. Adapta. All right, Adapta. Weed. That is a mouthful. And I'm glad that that one came up because I would have never, never realized how it was supposed to sound. A duck All right. Come on, Google. Sometimes this board is cranky. There we go. All right. So let's go back in there. Sometimes it, it, it doesn't register, and then I have to go back in the long way. 
But uh, like I said, we're all still learning how to um, navigate through these, uh, through the Google Drive. This is all new to me. Um, using a Google Drive, my kids actually help teach me how to do the Google Drive. So it, it's a, I'm, I'm in progress, should I say. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm getting there. All right, let's see, did I do? Okay. Adapt. Hundred. Okay. So this is April. Let me go continue with March. Ayita. And I like to use everybody's voice, all of the speakers, so you can hear the differences in their voices. Anna Jumi. Amy Dictan Nichida. Well, that was a long one. That was a long one. Is Nap a fastida. Emma he. It was sick. For me, G. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the end. I've got the big finale okay. there. Give me. I'm trying to teach my uh, grandchild, Hibby, Hibby. <laughs> She's learning. Abaladida. Dotka, fire. Infamiji, odor. And for some reason, um, on social media, you don't always have um, control over some of your videos, some reason, <laughs> some of them, you get put in what you call Facebook jail. I've gotten put in Facebook jail for some things, and I'm like, it's just talking about fry bread, or it's talking about Indian tacos, so some of these may not be out there, because <laughs> for some reason... For some reason, somebody deems it not public. Can you change it? Niska, Niska. So easy to do today, yeah. And one of the, and I was like, we're just talking about fry bread. <laughs> EG. And some of these, we had to change the um, the sounds, the voices, because between us creating the video here and it uploading to, um, what is it, Instagram server or something, when you heard it, it didn't sound like how it originally was spoken. So we had to go back and, and edit and then re-upload everything. So, so if you see something there one day and it's gone the next day, it... It might be they took it off, or maybe we're editing. I'm not sure. Afatsky. It's boiled. Hey, 
いいっすかイデンヒッシュだはい。So,、um, I know, Amy, you said something about beads.、Um, what do you think about like, the color of beads? Because that was a suggestion for,、um, for some more words. <laughs> Mado, Mado.、Yeah. There's a lot of work, but it was fun. You know, I love it when you're working and you're having fun. But、um, I was thinking, we were thinking about the、uh, concept of beads. Were you thinking about the color of beads? Or. <laughs> I, I was thinking about like、um, how so much of how I relate to this is like a circle of women sitting and teaching their daughters and granddaughters how to bead, but、okay. in the language. Okay. All right. That's, maybe that's too complicated, too grandiose. You know, I have these schemes that aren't always, aren't always a good idea ultimately, but、uh, that's what I was just thinking about、um, with that. Like beading or like.、Um... Like right here, ribbon skirt,、uh, something with our culture. To, that's what、yes. I'm trying to share as well is、uh, something with our culture for the words of the day. So if you go look at a word of the day for,、uh, for some other organization, more than likely you'll never come across these because this is more of our culture. But I'll keep that in mind because I was thinking about that. I'm like, is she thinking color, shape, size, you know? But okay, that makes more sense. I, I understand what you're thinking now. But if you guys have any comments or questions or suggestions on what we,、um, what we can go over or what we can post for words of the day,、um, just let us know because we are here to try to help everyone learn our, our Muscogee language and to retain it. Because, like I said, I had to revisit my,、uh, my notes and I had to. Put he, she, it, or they in parentheses because that's what we did when we were learning. I forgot that, but <clears throat> language is constantly learning and constantly revisiting things. And, and、uh, I go over some of this stuff with the Mahayas, and they don't, they say, oh, that doesn't make sense. And then another Mahaya said, oh, yeah. So it's just kind of balancing what we present to you guys in the easiest way and the most accurate way that we can. Find to present to you guys. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Is this starting to make sense?、Um, we next week will go over. I will not, I will not cook. I am, I am not cooking, which I used on my husband and my family before. So we went out to eat. I'm not cooking, <laughs> you know, or,、uh, you know, I'm not running because my kids are younger than me and they're like, oh, mom. And they take off. I'm like, I'm not running. I guess I, could, I can use and incorporate some of, these little,、um, some of these little sentences that we're learning. I am not running. I'm not cooking. <laughs> Just you know, for, for examples. But you know, try to incorporate these、uh, words and these simple sentences we're using、um, to help keep us in the Muscogee mindset. If nobody has any questions or comments, then、uh, I think we are done for the day. And my word that I I was talking about is Hadam Chihi Chikathlis. I will see everyone again. All right. Chihi Chikathlis. That's everyone. All right. All right. Mado. Mado Mache. Great job. So I will see you guys Friday evening, if not Monday. All right. You guys have a great rest of your week.
and we will start something new next week. Hello.